This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus Industrial Equipment Group. This tutorial video will provide you with detailed instructions to acquire 3D standard panoramic images on the Olympus DSX series optodigital microscopes. To begin creating a panoramic image, we will select Stitching from the button bar. The DSX Opto Digital Microscopes have two options for creation of panoramic images. Live Panorama allows for a simple 2D or 3D image stitch of the sample beyond the field of view using either the motorized stage or manual stage. High quality Panorama utilizes the motorized stage to stitch together a preset field of view. Please view the video for high quality Panorama for more details. For this example, we will be performing a 3D standard stitch by selecting Live Panorama. After our selection, the Live Panorama window will open. This window will allow us to choose which type of image acquisition we would like to use. 2D Simple allows for us to simply drag the actual field of view to new locations while stitching together all visited fields of view. This is accomplished by either dragging the field of view window with your finger via the touch screen or using the mouse to click and drag. With a manual stage, the software will track the change made by manually moving the stage location to perform the panoramic stitch. 2D Standard allows us to capture the single field of view, then click on the corresponding arrow or manually move the stage to the adjacent field of view to stitch. This allows for an overlap of images for the software to perform pattern alignment, improving the stitch quality. 3D allows us to create panoramic images that are stitched in multiple focus planes to allow for 3D rendering of the entire panoramic image. This function requires the 3D option. EFI allows us to create a panoramic image that is stitched in multiple focus planes to produce an all-in-focus panoramic image. For this example, we will select 3D. Once selected, the EFI 3D settings window will open to the right. This window allows us to set our start and end points for the focus range of our sample area, or to even specify a range. We will want to use the start and end points for this example. We can now use the focus buttons to move our focus point to the bottom of our sample focus range. Once we have reached the lower point of focus on the sample, making sure this low point is going to also cover the area we plan to stitch, we will select the start button. We will now move our focus point again to the top of the focus range for our sample area. Making sure we have reached the top point of focus, enough to cover the entire stitched area as well, we need to simply select the end button to set our final range. Next we will click on the large acquisition button to begin capture of the 3D range selected. As the scan occurs we can watch its progress with the display bar. After the scan completes it will populate the tile on the screen with an all-in focused image. We now need to guide the software to the next location we would like to stitch together. This can be accomplished by clicking on the arrow towards the direction of the next stitched area, manually drag the selection box, or move the manual stage. The standard stitch option, which includes 3D or EFI stitching, requires there to be a percentage of overlap of the previous image as the software will perform pattern alignment. This overlap is automatically set if we click the arrow. If we move the selection box manually or move the manual stage, we will have to leave enough overlap area required by the software. We will simply click on the right arrow to move the stage. Once the move has completed, we simply click either the camera icon within the selection box or the large acquisition box again to begin capture of the focus range for our new stitch location. It is not required to capture the top and bottom of focus again.
If we would like to continue stitching a larger panoramic image, we would continue moving the selection box and acquiring the focus areas until finished. For this example, we can now select the complete box to finish the two fields of view we have defined. The software will then close the stitching window and display our all-in-focus stitched image. Since we captured this using the 3D setting, we can also display the rendered 3D image by selecting the 2D 3D button. The 3D image can then be rotated, zoomed in, and even changed to display only the height data in a color overlay for examination. We can also continue through the software to capture height, volume, area, geometric, or step angle measurements on our 3D stitched image. In this instructional video, we have covered 3D standard live panoramic imaging within the Olympus DSX series OptoDigital microscopes. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions.